Le, the main city of Le, swarming with the commotion of tourists, sellers, and a whirlwind of amenities. High up there lies the nine-tiered Le Palace facing the whitewashed Gurudwara. Busy the town, but this is certainly not my cup of tea. So today we will be traveling to a completely different place. Let's get in a car and travel to a village called Stoke. So this ride will take only half an hour. The only sound you can hear in Stoke is the sound of the wind. There is no other sound. Yeah, Stoke is very peaceful. I mean, just greenery all around and very, very few tourists. So basically, we were on the road and we were looking for a homestay. Then I met this local girl and I asked her if there is a homestay where I can stay. And she said, okay i will just ask my mom and we followed her and that's how we came here this is a wooden very traditional ladakhi homestay and this is run by a local family and really really sweet family because they have been feeding us ladakhi food <laughs> yeah uh, fresh apricots and then chitagi and sometimes tibetan uh, momo and all so we have been eating a lot thank you <coughs> also stoke is very peaceful bus services don't run to stoke and there are a few spots it's like stoke palace okay <laughs> Stoke Palace is basically the 14th century palace that is still the royal family's residence. So basically when the Dogras invaded the main palace of Leh, they had to shift to Stoke Palace. So this is a 14th century architecture and there's a museum inside the palace but unfortunately the museum is under construction so we were not allowed. So we just wander around the fort and there is a giant Buddha statue uh, which is almost 21 meters high and we went there and you can see all of Stoke from there. कौन से चाय है बाहर जो लिखा है लदाखी लदाखी कुनाक कुनाक वहाँ की ब्लैक टी ब्लैक टी अच्छा होगा अभी सॉल्ट में and we are eating a lot of organic vegetables because we are living in a farm i really like the alleyways like you can just go from one house to another through a muddy and watery <laughs> alleyways and there are weedy stupas all around they don't look like they are being maintained very well and 
that's I think the beauty of this place. I think if your intention is just to roam around in nature, this is the place for you. And this is only 15 kilometers from the main city. And so we decided we are going to stay two nights here at auntie's place. This actually used to be the base of a very, very famous trick, the famous Stoke Kangri trick. So there are mountains all around and you can just, just hike anywhere. And just, you don't need a specific hike. So we went to, we were trying to get to the top of a mountain. Uh, but we didn't go all, all the way because it was getting dark and it was actually very steep towards the end so we we went somewhere close to the not even close the prayer flags were uh, far <laughs> they were far but yeah I, we thought it would get dark so we came down but it was fun I don't have any footage from that <laughs> mini hike just there is nothing you can't enjoy about Stoke. There is just nothing. Green vegetables, intimate alleyways, beautiful local people, Buddha Stupa, monastery, 14th century architecture. I mean, what else do you need?